I am going to start by saying that the first mistake that beginners make on their sewing journey is not pay attention. And this thing is coming from experience, okay? I was once there. Everyone was once a beginner. And there is this thing we always do once we start sewing. We want to learn everything. We are so anxious to know everything. And in doing that, we forget to pay attention. So that's the number one mistake that beginners make. There's a difference between hearing somebody, listening to somebody, and paying attention to them. So you can be hearing somebody talk, you can be listening to them, but you might not be paying attention. So what I need you to do on this particular video is hear me talk listen to me talk and please pay attention to everything i'm saying and i'm doing okay and in doing that you have overcome the first overall mistake that beginners make and you deserve a round of applause Since we last kid, by the way just got in town i won't you know um on today's video i want to share with you five mistakes that beginners make on their sewing journey and all these are coming from my own personal experience okay so please sit tight grab your pen and let's dive into it hi welcome to the channel my name is vivian okay your soul friend your soulmate your creative mind <laughs> and on today's video of course i'm going to be sharing with you the mistakes i'll be making or the mistake i made earlier on my sewing journey and i don't want you to make them if you are out there watching this video and you have other things to say about the mistakes that beginners make on their sewing journey either from your own experience or you've seen somebody do this actual mistake please call zero eight zero like anyways just let me know in the comment section i was just joking on the comment section there you can share with me more things about the mistakes that people make beginners make on their sewing journey so i can read this out to your fellow soulmates so they cannot be making this mistake again okay so let me know in the comment section i'll be waiting to see all your comments and thank you for doing that in advance and let's get into the actual five mistakes that we made on our early stage of sewing so the number one thing i have here because i'm going to be talking about these mistakes from um the beginning okay i don't want to be throwing it to you from left to right mm -mm. i'm going to be starting from the first thing and the first thing is the tape beginners do not take their time to understand the rule or what the tape is all about how to you know use the tape properly i did that mistake earlier in my sewing journey i did not really understand the tape and in making that mistake it actually affects you know the how i take body measurements and how i mark this body measurement and how i even divide them because i actually did not understand or understood the rule of the tape and today i'm just going to quickly share with you how to really understand what this tape is all about because if you don't know how to actually use your tape you will be taking wrong measurements and you'll be sewing wrong outfit okay so you need to pay attention to this tape reading that i'm about to show you once you're you're able to understand this the first mistake has been taken care of and we'll move into the second mistake now if you take a look at your tape you can see that they are like small i'm going to be putting like a picture of the tape on the screen so you see what i'm saying now looking at your tape you can see that they are like little little lines before your one two three four five six seven eight now what we're going to be talking about is this little little lines that we have before the one and the two and the three and the four and the that's small small lines now something about these um tiny lines before the one and before the two is the fact that people don't get to understand that this is a progression of one over eight all points on the tape every point on the tape is a progression of one over eight and when i mean progression i mean for the first one over eight which is the first smaller line the next one after that line is another one over eight plus one over eight the next line is another one over eight plus one over eight plus one over eight so it's a progression of one over eight it's an addition okay in case you don't understand what progression is let me go soft it's an addition of one over eight so the first line you see on your tape the first tiny line is one over eight which is one divided by eight which is a 0 0.125 and the rest are just the progression of 0 0.125 plus 0 0.125 plus 0 point until you get to one so let's let's do this let's go to our calculator if you have your calculator here bring it out let me let's do this thing together so if the first line on your tape is one over eight so you're going to go to your calculator and you're going to divide one over eight so you press Press one divided by eight what did you get 0 0.125 now the next line is another one over eight plus one over eight which is two over eight right so you are going to divide two over eight and what did you get 0 0.125 
0.125 so if you want to do it in an hour way you just say 0.125 plus another 0.125 you are going to still get 0.25 because 1 over 8 is equals to 0.125 and if you plus 0.125 with another 0.125 you're getting 0.25 which is the next line after the first line now the next tiny line after the 0.25 if you plus 1 over 8 plus another 1 over 8 plus another 1 over 8 which is 3 times now you're going to be getting 3 over 8 at the end right now 3 divided by 8 will give you what please do it on your calculator and let me know you're going to be getting 0 0.375 right which is the same thing as saying 0 0.125 plus 0 0.125 plus another 0 0.125 so Practically, this step is just a progression of 1 over 8, okay? The addition of 1 over 8 till you get to your 1. And then you repeat the same thing you did from the beginning. You do it again after the 1 and you get to 2. If you want to get to 1, you just say 0 0.125 plus 0 0.125 plus 0 0.125 plus 0 0.125 plus 0 0.125 8 times. And that, that's when you get your 1. Because 8 over 8, that's 8 divided by 8, gives you 1. So that is where you get to one. So it's all a progression of one to five. And guess what? All these numbers are very important when taking your measurement. Okay. When taking your measurement and marking down your measurements, all these lines that you're looking at at your tape, on your tape, sorry, all these tiny lines, they are very important. Maybe you're trying to take somebody's shoulder point and you find out that, okay, the person's shoulder point is 14 points something and you don't add that point something and you don't say let you appro approximate to you know either instead of 14 points you say let me do 15 and you do this outfit for this person and the shoulder is just very wide because you did not take the accurate measurement okay so all these tiny lines before the one and the two and the three are very very important and please take note of that okay so that is the first mistake that beginners make on their sewing journey and i hope you understood what i just said okay please understand i beg you so you don't make this mistake anymore so you take accurate measurements using your tape and you're able to understand how to mark down those measurements using your tape okay and now let's get into the second mistake that beginners make on their sewing journey like i said i am doing this accordingly okay so now the second thing is understanding the concept of body measurement oh my god beginners you do that like i get a lot of questions on my whatsapp on my comments on my instagram on <sighs> everywhere asking me things about what is the vertical measurement what is the point what is this now please take your time to understand the concept of the body measurement okay what the body measurement is is just two parts like two parts the straight and the round okay the points which is the straight which is vertical and the horizontal now the vertical comes before the horizontal because without you knowing the length of the person you are measuring the you know the length of every point of their body you know from their shoulder to their breast from their breast to their waist if you don't know this point how will you divide the round measurement and mark it on the point when you don't have the point you don't have the round measurements you need this point okay so Understanding the concept of the body measurement is understanding that the first thing you need to take on anybody's body is the vertical measurement, which is the point, which is also the length. Okay, once you take the vertical measurements, the point, then you can take the horizontal measurement, which is the round measurement of that particular point. And of course, I am going to be giving you a solution because that's i'm giving you mistakes that i have made and i'm giving you a solution now before i give you a solution i have done this before okay i'm going to give you a little backstory you must hear it now i have when i said learning how to sew i have made so much so much outfits where i my hip points was sitting close to my knee <laughs> because i did not take the points properly i have made so many outfits where my boss point was down almost close to my waist my boss that is sitting here so understanding this body measurement understanding the concept is knowing that you will mark your vertical measurement which is from your shoulder to your chest from your shoulder to your boss point from your shoulder to your under bust, from your shoulder to your waist oh my god you have to take this point you have to indicate every point on the human body before you now start measuring the round measurement before you now start taking the round measurement on that point okay so point first, vertical measurement first, horizontal measurement after, okay? So this is a concept, straight, 
horizontal straight horizontal okay and in case you are still like confused and you still want to understand more i have like a very detailed video on body measurements i'm going to be putting down the link on this video and also on this particular like i'll be writing it here and then on the description box the link is going to be there go and watch my measurement video very detailed and you're going to understand okay but please try and understand the body concept like the concept of the body measurements and you are going to be doing well in your cutting and your sewing okay and that's the second mistake that beginners make second second mistake that beginners make on their sewing journey and let's get into the third one now the third mistake that beginners make on their sewing journey and also this one <laughs> so many messages like so many questions neckline people always make mistake on neckline and i'm going to be helping you out okay so um the neckline ha actually have like standard measurements that people just use and most people don't know about the standard measurement so there's a standard measurement and google is your friend most of you that you know take that time to send me a message to ask me this question you can go on google trust me the answers are there nobody's hiding anything from you okay if somebody's even doing younger to tell you like i am doing younger taking my time if i answer you because i'm always busy go to google okay just google it the standard neck width measurement the standard neck depth measurement and you're going to see it okay so let me help you deal with it though now for the neckline you need to understand that the neck also have like the width and the depth okay so there's always like a width neckline like the wideness of your neck you have to always indicate the wideness and also the length of it okay and please understand the fact that the front neck width and the back neck width is always the same this is what the neck width is this is the wideness of my neck okay so you can see that the wideness is where the joining is for the back and the front is from the wideness you join your front and your back so to be able to join it you need it to be the same you need it to be equal so if you're marking 3.5 or 2.5 or 2 whatever you're marking as your neck width on your front outfit your front piece that is the same neck width you're marking for your back okay that's the wideness now once you're done with the width for the length of your neck the depth the front and the back are always different listen hear me and pay attention the front neck depth which is length and the back neck depth is different now the width is the same right i just told you that the width the wideness is the same the length is different for the front it is always deeper than the back and i'm going to be putting two pictures here so you understand now the back neckline for normal or standard sewing is always higher because you know the back is high for the front you need it to be done because of where your neckline is like how it is designed okay so for that fact because you have the breast every other thing falling out in your front so it is always deeper so when you are using um three inches as your front neck depth you should be using one or 0 0.5 as your back neck depth okay so the back is always higher than the front the front is always deeper it's always in like out and now that you know that the neck width is the same for front and back and the neck depth is different from the front and back now these are the standard measurement i know for neckline okay for neck width the standard measurement i know is three inches unless you're making a shirt then you can use 2.5 okay and i always tell my students this thing it is always better for you to make something that is smaller than when it is bigger so if you're marking your neck depth and your neck width if you make them smaller it is always better now you can actually trim and you know open it up later than when you make it bigger they already add fabric for the neck <laughs> you cannot attach more fabric on the neck so make it smaller so you can adjust than when you now make it bigger now you cannot adjust because you cannot join fabric on the neck unless you want to do this <laughs> so you cannot and you cannot drag it to be smaller okay so the um neck depth i've talked about the neck width being um three inches for that's what i know generally and if you're making a shirt 2.5 but then for the neck depth for the front the standard measurement i know is three inches or so or 2.5 sometimes especially when you're making a shirt so you either use 2.5 when you're making a shirt or when you're making some a dress that needs high neck 2.5 but then if it's just normal like this one i'm wearing here i use three inches so three inches is the normal neck depth for the front now for the back i always use one inch okay that is what i always use that's the standard measurement i know and you know this is all coming from my own experience so this is like a disclaimer you can also go out and make your research but this is the standard measurement neck depth for back 
is 0.75 or 1 inch that is what i use unless you're making a design that need a lower back or you know open front or wrap then that one you can flex but this is what i know for the standard measurement for normal outfit okay and that is the third mistake that beginners make okay did you understand this one have you been making this one did i answer your question if you still have more questions let me know in the comment section and i'll be attacking it <laughs> and i'll be talking talking ab about it with you okay so now we are on to the fourth mistake that beginners make and the first thing i wrote here is armhole oh my god charlie see this armhole <laughs> This armhole, armhole has been another thing that I'm always getting message on. Like a lot of people keep telling me how when they're trying to fix their sleeves to their armhole is not joining, is not rhyming. And I'm here, honey. I'm here. Okay. Uh, your guardian sewing angel is here to help you out. Okay. So fixing your sleeve to your armhole, there are two ways you can do it. If you do it these two ways, you can never go wrong. And I have been making this mistake too. Like I've made so many mistakes where I make outfits and then, you know, after sewing it and i try to attach my sleeve to the armhole the, either the sleeve is bigger than the armhole or the armhole is bigger than the sleeves i've never ever gotten it right as a beginner not until i started paying attention to the process and i started understanding that oh all this why i have not been doing one thing which is measure okay there is no way you will measure anything that you never get it right so measurement has been the way one of the ways that i have used in you know getting my armhole right like my armhole to my sleeves this is one thing that has helped me measuring now the first way you can only get your armhole and your sleeves to be equal is by measuring what you have on the armhole and using it to draft out your sleeves and after you have cut your sleeves and you're about to join your sleeve before you close that sleeves before you you know close it for the line you still measure the armhole measure the armhole what you have on the armhole and use that measurement to sew in the sleeves okay so imagine i measure my armhole from my shoulder to the points here and i'm getting 10. now when i want to close this sleeve when i want to join it i'm going to make sure that what i'm joining and what i will have at last is 10. if i use 10 and join to 10 it will join there is no way to not join okay so that's the first way measuring okay if you keep measuring and you will never get anything wrong measure don't say ah, i am in a hurry if you're a beginner why are you hurrying measure the second way is before attaching your sleeves to your armhole you can do one thing you can find the center point of your sleeves and notch it okay you hold your sleeves the center point which is somewhere around here you notch it at the end and then you use that notch and pin it to the line that you joined your shoulder seam where you have your shoulder seam that is the line that that notch should sit on so you now sew from that notch you sew to the left down and then you sew to the right down and then once you're done sewing like that joining it now you can start sewing the sleeves and then use it to sew the dress so you make sure that your dress is not sewn or closed your front and your back piece are not closed make sure it's not closed yet make sure they are still open and make sure your sleeve too is still open okay there's the line here the sewing the seam is still open the dress too is still open and then use the notch on the center point of your sleeves attach it to the line where you have your shoulder seam from that notch attach it so down so down and then close all of them together so you're going to be closing your sleeves and your dress together and in doing that you cannot get it wrong because now you're sewing everything as one i don't know if you guys understand this thing i just said so let me know in the comment section if i confused you more or actually helped you out but these are the two ways that you can fix your sleeves to your ammo and it's going to sit properly okay and you guys that's the fourth mistake that beginners make i i i, I did it so much and thank god i am here today to help you sort it out now the last the last the fifth thing that beginners do on their sewing journey is measurement now now i'm not talking about the concept of measurement which is taking body measurement no i'm talking about when they are sewing outfits somebody will be sewing outfits to get a free outfit but they'll make it tight somebody would be sewing to make a tight outfit but it will be like free now how do you stop that from always happening is by always confirming the measurement before you join okay if you're a beginner this shouldn't be a hard thing now you have your front piece set aside you have your back piece set aside now what is the actual measurement of what you're trying to achieve if you're making a free dress and you you know you've taken the round measurement and you know you've confirmed it on the outfit the pieces that you have the front and the back piece now you leave the allowance that you need to leave to get freedom and then you sew 
But if you want a tight outfit, because maybe you have a zip and you know there's a tight dress, is a tight skirt or something, you measure the actual body measurement that you have broken down to draft out that piece. You measure it and make sure that you have those points indicated like the lines indicated so you can sew on that line so when you're done you wear it it is tight because you sewed on the actual measurement not adding allowance again i don't know if you guys are getting so making sure that you you know always confirm measurement before you join anything is something that is going to help you always get what you're looking for when you're making outfit that you don't even have to lose it and join and losing again and join or then when you finish maybe you've made a tight outfit that is meant to be free and you have gone to cut out allowance and now you've cut off allowance and now you, the person is wearing that is so tight person is like oh i told you i want free something i want free now you can't want to go join fabric for the team <laughs> after you've cut off your allowance no so that is the fifth mistake not confirming measurement before sewing so this is the five things that i did this um, this are the mistake that i did on my sewing journey and I, I i just came here to share there are more and i'm going to be bringing more when i sit down to write down those more i'll bring them out and if you have more please share let me know so i can you know join it to the next time i make such video like a video like this talking about the mistakes i can include yours okay let me know in the comment section and you guys that is it for this video i hope you really under understand yes because you paid attention so you understand so i hope you really enjoyed the video i hope you find it interesting please don't forget to like this video welcome to the family subscribe down below and i'll be seeing you on my next video okay love and light to you my beautiful 111,000 subscribers i love you bye